when it comes to designing websites, one of the most tedious jobs is looking for your images on separate websites like unsplash.com, download them onto your computer, upload them onto your website as you're designing your website. Now, as you can understand, this takes long. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a quick plugin that helps you add all your images and speed up your web design and workflow coming up. Hello everyone, my name is Mac and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick workflow that you can use to design your websites faster as you add images onto your website. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, oops, you know what? And also, once you've bought Divi, just let me know by going to funnelstoincome.com. On the bottom right, you're going to see a chat bubble. Click on it and then send me your receipt number and I'll be able to verify that and give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to quickly add images onto your website. All right, so uh, over here, I'm gonna switch over to my website. So the, first, the very first thing you wanna do is to come over here to plugins and click on add new. So the plugin that we're going to use for this, it's called Instant Images, okay? So search for Instant Images and this is the plugins, okay? So this is Instant Images, one click, unsplash, upload. So if you don't know, Unsplash is one of the uh, royalty-free image website. You can use all the images absolutely free. It's pretty, really cool. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed this and I've also activated it. So you, you can see here it's activated. So if I come over here to installed plugins, you are going to see instant images right here. So this is pretty cool. Now here's the thing. So let's say you want to uh, add all the images that you need for your web design project. All you have to do is to click over here where it says upload images. And this is now going to give us our database of images from unsplash.com within our own website. So here we can search by popular. You can search by oldest. So this is really, really cool. Over here on new, you can also search this by new. And what you can also do here is to search. So if I come over here and say maybe cars, maybe this website is to do with cars, I can then come over here and just start adding all my images into my media library. And this is the cool part. So you can see here, I have this green check mark. It means that this image has been added onto my media library. So you can continue to uh, look for the images that you need. So I've selected this one here. So maybe I may go with uh, this one here. So this is how I'm adding all my images. So let me, let's say uh, you want uh, car drivers. So you can just search here for car drivers. So as you can see, these are all the images that I'm going to need to add onto my website. So maybe this one here will work for this project. And as I scroll down, I can look and see if there's any other images that I may need. Uh, but you know what? Uh, perhaps maybe these ones are going to be enough. Okay, pretty cool. Now, what you can also do here, you can also choose by orientation. So you can choose here portrait and this will only show portrait images, which again could be really awesome uh, depending on the style of page you're designing. So we have several uh, options here that we can go with. All right, so now that we've done this, it's time now to design our page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So uh, our page here, we can give it any name we want. So let's call this page cars, use Divi Builder. Right, so this design I'm gonna build from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. So I'm not gonna do anything sophisticated here. I'm just gonna go in and add two images. So now that I've added my two columns, I'm going to search for my image module here and select it. Now, I want you to notice what happens. If I click here in this area to add my image, you're going to notice that I have all those images that I selected now in my media library. So I can go ahead now and choose them. So let's start here with this one here, upload an image and instantly you can see our image has been added. So I can save this and then come over here, click on this plus button, add my other image by searching for my image module and selecting it. And again, I'm going to come over here and choose my image. This time I'm gonna go with this Porsche. Upload an image. So you can see now that my image 
my images were very easy to add. And what I can also do here is I can go in and stylize these images the way I want. So let's say I need to use some filters on this. I can come over here to design and then I'm going to click on filters. So perhaps maybe I want to make this black and white. I can remove the saturation and uh, perhaps maybe a sepia tone like that. But if you don't want to do that, you can also add a hue. So let's add a bit of uh, saturation here. Let's go to 100%. And now we can play around with our hues. So you can see here, things are now changing as I am playing around with my hue. So you can add all your styles here. If you want, you can add a blur to this by uh, just dragging the slider down. In fact, not too much, but just a little bit. And also you can play around with your blend modes here. So you can see we can uh, multiply. We can do all sorts of blending mode. Now, if you've used Photoshop, you're going to notice that these are pretty much the same blending modes that you get in uh, programs like Photoshop. But as you can see, it's very, very easy to add all your images. To be honest, when I came across this, I was really excited because this now is going to save me a lot of time because every single time I designed a new or started a new project, I would go to Unsplash, download all the images first into my computer and then start uploading them onto my site. So this takes a bit of time. So this plugin makes this whole process much, much easier. And as you can see, I'm sure you can agree with me that this is going to speed up our design workflow. Let me know what you guys think in the video uh, comments below if you really like this. And uh, if you want me to share more of these plugins that help us do these quick little things as we design our website, just let me know so I can uh, start making more tutorials that can uh, talk about this plugin. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.